All right, so the Extreme Z Awakening details for the AGL LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta have been revealed. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at exactly what he does after the EZA and how good he actually is. Now, uh, before we talk about the EZA, we're going to quickly go over his pre-Extreme Z Awakening details for comparison purposes. So we're on the Dokkan Wiki right now. And as you can see, before the EZA, his leader skill was Pure Saiyan's Category Key plus 3, HP and Defense plus 170%, and Attack plus 130%. The uh, Super Attack causes immense damage and greatly lowers Defense, and his passive is Attack plus 120%, and Defense plus 60%, launches two additional attacks, and Defense plus 7%, with each attack performed up to 70%, evolves when conditions are met, and the uh, evolution condition is a 30% chance to evolve starting from the fourth turn from start of battle. And taking a look at the SSBE Vegeta, super attack, immense damage, massively lowers defense, passive, attack and defense plus 130% at the start of turn, launches two additional attacks, and chance to perform a critical hit plus 10% with each attack performed, up to 70%. And uh, the Stats without the EZA, once again, at rainbow status, is 16,920 HP, 15,052 attack, and 11,550 defense. Now, popping over to this page here, which is the Dokkan Info uh, website. Now, I don't know what the Japanese says. We'll take a look at the translations in a second. But what I want you guys to notice is that with the EZA, its stats become absolutely insane i mean if they didn't change his passive and his leader skill and his super attack at all he would still be very much improved like tremendously improved because of just how much higher his stats get so let me just uh zoom in here a bit and as you guys can see uh it might still be a little bit small but his hp becomes twenty thousand seven hundred and fifty two at rainbow status, 18,179 attack, and 13,463 defense. That is a ridiculously high defense stat. Um, I think there are very few LRs in the game that actually can compare even at rainbow status, and very few EZAs actually that can compare in, in terms of the defense stats. So he's gonna be very, very tanky with that high defense, and of course his attack is also quite good. It's, um, you know, not the highest we've seen, but still, you know, close to a, I mean, probably like a 55% LR. It depends on the LR we're talking about, but the point is, really good attack, very good HP, and insanely, insanely high defense, which I like a lot because I feel like the higher the defense the unit has, the more staying power the more longevity it's gonna have long term right so uh now for the actual details a big shout out to reddit user rad underscore uh, sve my bad for uh posting these about 30 minutes ago i couldn't find the translations from uh goresh maybe he's busy i'm not 100 percent sure but we do have these translations from uh, rad sve on the Dokkan Reddit, so let me just disappear for a second so we can go through these uh, translations here. Okay, so leader skill for the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Pure Saiyans, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%. So this was a pretty um, hot debate for a while. You know, people were wondering, was he going to get like 180%? Was he going to get... 200% I don't think anybody realistically expected 200% because that's just too high and they're definitely saving that for you know a future Dokkan Fest unit but maybe some people thought it was going to be 180% because that seems to be kind of the norm for new Dokkan Fest EZAs right but um 170% made sense to me I really thought uh, maybe they were going to shaft him and give him one set uh 160% instead just so his leader scale is not as good as the um, STR Super Vegeta, but no, 170% across the board for Pure Saiyans, I think is still amazing. I am still more than okay with this, 
you know? And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, man, to run a Pure Saints team with this guy as the leader. Because, I mean, for people like me who don't have the STR Super Vegeta, we've been waiting for a proper 170% Pure Saints lead to use, right? And uh, hopefully, the Super Vegeta is going to be on his banner, although, or rather the uh, Majin Vegeta banner, but we'll see, we'll see. Anyways, uh, 12 key super attack raises, actually no, uh, he only has a 12 key. So super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes immense damage, and greatly lowers defense. So compared to before the easy 8 where, uh, let's see, he had uh, just immense damage and greatly lowers defense, now he has the additional attack and defense boost. And then for his passive, it's attack plus 150% and defense plus 100% and launches two additional attacks, which each has a low chance to become a super attack, which I believe is a 15% chance. So each of these two additional attacks now has a 15% chance to become a super attack. So in theory, if you get very lucky, you could launch like four supers in a turn, you know, with the initial super and then the, the two additional supers from the passive and then maybe a uh, additional super from the hidden potential as well. So up to four supers, unlikely, but it's still nice that we have this chance. I mean, I would have preferred something like medium chance, which is 30%. Um, high chance would have been too much, but medium chance I think would have been even better, but you know, at least it's a chance to become a super attack, right? And then defense plus 20% per attack performed up to 100%. So instead of 7% uh, before, up to 70%, now it's 20% with each attack up to 100%. So only five attacks are required, which means that basically by the second to third appearance, you should have his passive fully maxed out and then involves when conditions are met. And then for the SSB Vegeta, super attack is raises attack and defense for one turn, causes immense damage, and massively lowers defense, passive attack and defense plus 150%, plus an additional defense plus 100% when performing a super attack, launches two additional attacks, which has a low chance to become a super attack, and critical chance plus 10% per attack performed up to 70%. So that part stays the same, but, um, as you can see, he does get a additional 100% defense, which is pretty huge on the super attack. I mean, that's going to make a big difference, especially because, once again, he has a very high defense stat. So this additional 100% defense is going to make him stupidly tanky. And even before the super attack, he's still going to be getting some good defense just because of how high his defense is, right? But with the additional 100% defense, he's going to be super tanky. He's going to be super, super good defensively. And then, uh, of course, just like before the transformation, he has a chance to launch up to four supers, although it's very unlikely. But, you know, every other turn, he should get at least like two supers, maybe even three. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's a very good easy A. A very good easy. Like I said before, man, even without the change to his details, the stats alone are a massive upgrade. But then you factor in the additional attack and the additional defense and the raising of attack and defense on the super attack and the amazing leader skill. And this is just a great easy A overall, in my opinion. Um, is it like super, super broken? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so, but I think he's really, really good. I think he's actually amazing. Um, it just depends on like what your expectations were. Were you expecting him to become the best you are in the game? Because I don't think he's quite that. I don't think so, but he's up there. And he's going to be uh, very impressive, both offensively and defensively. So there you go. That is the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta Extreme Z Awakening. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about it? Are you um, satisfied with what you see here or would you have preferred something more? I guess honestly I am okay with this. I really am. I have no complaints. Um, I think he's gonna be great. And of course it's coming for both Global and JP for the same day celebration so both sides will be able to enjoy this EZA uh, very soon. Maybe... Well I don't think it's gonna be immediately. I don't think he's gonna be dropping like as soon as 
uh, Saiyan Day starts. I think it's gonna be probably like a week after the celebration starts, like the, a week after the Majin Vegeta banner drops. Then we'll get this Extreme Z battle event, or I could be wrong, maybe it's gonna be dropping at the same time. Which means that in two days we'll get this, but I can't say for sure, so anyways. Um, the point is, he looks great. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about him, what is your assessment of him before you get a chance to use him. And uh, that's it guys, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you guys liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.